Hello and welcome back to the second part in my G1000 video series. Um, this episode we're going to be going over how to create a flight plan for the G1000 and how to make the G1000 fly it. I'm going to go over two ways of creating a flight plan. The first one will be with the EFB or the electronic flight bag. I imagine this is how a lot of people are going to start making the flight plan because it means it's all within flight simulator you're not having to have any external programs and it automatically loads it all into the uh, g1000 the second way is the more traditional way which is where you create a flight plan maybe with the efb maybe with an external program and the program are all in manually on the g1000 but i will show you both ways in this video so we will get straight into that as you can see we are going to load in at egcc echo golf charlie charlie which is manchester airport so if we hit efb here We'll put that iPod into our um, departure airport and we are going to fly to EGGP Echo Golf Golf Papa which is Liverpool Airport. We'll put that in here EGGP and the next step we are going to add a departure so this will open up this GPS screen so we can zoom out a little bit and scroll down these departures departures and the orange line will show you what this departure actually is flying so you basically want to look for a departure that takes you towards the airport that you are flying towards as you can see all of these are, these waypoints are already will already be put in or there is a vfr pattern or direct so i'm going to pick asmi 1z which will take us up to the asmim waypoint here and hit change procedure and then it has already selected a approach procedure for Liverpool. So again, you can scroll onto this. So this would be basically find which approach procedure um, and which runway you're going to land in on and basically select which approach procedure. So changing them, orange line showing it. So the RNAV, the ALS. So this depends on what kind of what plane you have to fly, which of these approach procedures. I will stick with ILS 9 and your transition is basically where you are transitioning from as you can see LPL would transition from this waypoint so if your route took you to this waypoint so if we had a waypoint flying to here I'd possibly do an LPL transition and they are just different waypoints to transition onto this kind of procedure from so this would be arriving from the south this one would be arriving kind of from the northwest and LPL will be arriving from the east. Because we are kind of flying this route here, I'm just gonna hit direct. And that will load this into the into the uh, EFB. If it was a bit of a longer flight, I would hit find route here and it would add any on route waypoints or you can add the on route waypoints kind of naturally, uh, including airways, uh, there are various external programs that do this very well such as Navigraph or you can f use Simbrief to come up with routes and then you could just add these um, for your kind of route. Uh, the next thing we would then do is file plan with ATC, send route to avionics and if you want to you could load or save the flight plan. I'm going to put a cruising altitude of 12,000 feet in here, do the same thing, file plan, send to ATC. So now I will load us into the sim and you will see this now on the G1000. So I will see you once we are loaded into the simulator. As you can see here, we're in the Cessna 172 and it has loaded in this flight plan. So it will fly us out of Manchester to ASMIM. And at this point, because it's not joined, it's basically asking for vectors for the ILS. So we would request vectors off the ATC and there was vectors kind of around this area here. To take us in for the ILS runway. Um, you can access the EFB up here in the top menu. So from this, you could click on Flight Planner tab and then change your flight plan, change your procedures, change all of this and do exactly the same thing. File plan with the ATC, send the route to the avionics and it would do it this way. So the alternate way is by basically entering the flight plan into the G1000 or manually. Um, I will pick a bit of a longer route for this, so this one will go from Manchester and we will go to Dublin, so find the airport code for Dublin.
EIDW, EIDW, Dublin International. It's automatically selected the procedure for us. I will now find the route. And it is just saying LYNAS in this procedure. So if I go onto this and delete the flight plan. So the second way is to enter the flight plan completely manually into the G1000. So here I have got a basic, a basic route from Manchester to Dublin. So starting Manchester using the ASME 1Z procedure and the ILS 10 left into Dublin with one waypoint on the way, which is the LYNAS waypoint. To enter this manually into the G1000, you press hold the left click and right click and ensure that this is then flashing. Scroll the little knob, scroll the big knob down to this line and scroll the little knob. And then again, if you wanted to, you could enter the characters by scrolling this little knob to get to characters. So I'll show you that. So you go E, then the big knob along once. There's G, C, C. So that's Manchester. Scroll this all the way along. Hit enter and select the runway that you want to depart from with the little knob. So that would be runway 5 right. Hit enter and there you go. You've got your departure runway. Go down with a big knob to this line and again you'd be entering your arrival airport here. So I'm going to use this and type with my keyboard. So EIDW would give us Dublin International. Hit enter. Click this button to turn off the keyboard input and hit enter. And again, scroll down to the arrival room, which is 10 left. Press that. Then I would load in my procedures. So I'd hit procedure here. Scroll down to select departure. And select the departure procedure I want, which is the ASME 1Z. Make sure that these are all right and hit load. And hit procedures again and select the approach procedure, which it is giving me. 10 left ILS, which is what it's on. Here is when you decide if you want to vector in or if you've got an initial approach fix. So as you can see, this would take us kind of on a left-hand pattern. This one would be if you are kind of coming from the north or the west. And this is from the south and the west and kind of takes on a right-hand pattern. I'm just going to select the ATAF. This can all be changed if it doesn't look right once we've kind of put it all in. Minimums are for when you've got your charts. So, we've got the charts for this. If you go down here, you can find the chart for your ILS. And you would find your minimums at the bottom of the chart here. So, 510. So I'm going to scroll to Barrow, scroll along to Feet, and scroll this up to 510. So that's the minimums for the arrival procedure. And again, scroll all the way down. This time, only hit load, don't hit activate. But yes to this. And then, again, you're going to scroll all the way up. And on your en route waypoint, we are going to go and put in this LYNAS. So again, scroll the little knob, press the button, type LYNAS, or put it all in manually. Press this button again, hit enter to load the en route waypoint. We'll then zoom out just to check that this kind of looks all right. And again, you can press this button in to get your cursor up to drag your cursor on so you can have kind of a better look at the flight plan. I'm just going to check that Initial approach fix for the ILS. Uh, cursor up here. Zoom in on the cursor. And yeah, that looks okay. It's going to fly us to the north. Fly us around and onto the ILS runway. So that is the manual way of um, entering a flight plan into the G1000. So input your departure airport. Input your arrival airport. Put your departure procedure. Put your arrival procedure. And then put your en route waypoints. Your arrival procedure, if you're not sure about it, you can leave that uninputted and just put in your kind of route 
then wait till you get closer to the airport and then they will kind of give you an arrival procedure and approach fix. I will now, I'll get the airport, the aircraft in the air and I will show you how to set the autopilot up to fly the input route. So I will see you when we are up, uh, probably at the end of the runway, ready for takeoff. So we're here at the hold short for runway 5 right, so at this point what I would do for a takeoff. Open up my AFB. Click on this button for EGCC to open up the chart and find your departure chart. So 5 right, standard instrument departures. Click this button. We can see the first kind of altitude we're going to have to go to is... Zoom in here. 2,500 feet and we have to be above it at this point at D6. So that's what I will set up on the autopilot. So I'll set the altitude to 2,500 feet. Ensure that it is in flight level change mode. Use these buttons to increase the speed that it will climb at. And we're going to go to 75 knots, optimum climb speed for the 172. And then hit the nav button. Ensure it is going to be in GPS, so GPS is armed there. And when I engage the autopilot and it picks up the GPS, it will follow the GPS. 10% flaps, ready for takeoff. I tune the ATC, I don't have the ATC on at the moment because Manchester is a busy airport, so there's a lot happening. A lot of ATC calls that would get in the way. So I'm just going to do the takeoff procedure here. So here we go. Final checked. GPS is now armed because we're aligned with the GPS. We're going to climb to our first head altitude. 2,500 feet was checked on the departure plan. And we're going to climb at 75 knots. So standard departure, full throttle. Lima, did you copy? Acknowledge the takeoff clearance. Cleared for takeoff, runway zero Fife, right Cessna uniform Victor Lima. Fall back. There we go. Flaps are now extended. As soon as we're at about 500 feet, I will arm the autopilot and I'll automatically climb us to that altitude and follow the flight pattern. There we go. Coming to 500 feet now. I'm the autopilot, and at this point, uniform, Victor Lima, continue for west departure. I can just let go of the stick and the throttle and it will automatically do what it needs to do to fly the flight plan that we put into the G1000. So I hope that has helped some of you. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments, and I will go over kind of arrival and approach procedures in the next video. Thank you very much.